striking again thank you very much for watching this video please if you're not subscribed to the channel please hit the like button hit the subscribe button it's very important for you to support our channel well i'm here in this journey bringing you good information about the forex market okay well guys well as i said before in one of my latest videos the jpy was one of the biggest drivers on the market last week unfortunately we are uh we are having this terrible terrible moment with this ukraine russia war uh we have been seeing a strength of the dollar you can see in every pair look at that the dollar it's uh, uh, going strong latest we have been seeing the dollar going weak uh, look at that last week we saw that okay then the dollar is going down again then going up so what we have it's it's the dollar going up and down up and down while the JPY sustain a very good uh, a very good upside movement so uh, what we have been seeing is the JPY driving the markets and going up and down depending on the war situation so we should be very careful about this pair nowadays because uh, this is something that we're going to be seeing for uh, 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 for the next days in my opinion okay so nevertheless this incredible incredible system gives us great opportunities especially on the um on the short time frames look at that the 10 minutes time frame good opportunity here and it's coming from a huge downtrend look at that look at that where it has begun when the war starts okay euro usd going down going deeply down and why it's the this huge fall look at this gap here look I'll try to point it here look at this gap here what does it mean Rafa it means that the euro as a currency it's very fragile this moment because the Union uh, the European Union depends a lot of the Russian gas and all of the commodities that Ukraine and Russia produces so the the war can be very harmful to europe economy so that's why europe it's going down okay usd jpy as we have been seeing it's going up and down with good opportunities up and down look if you want to go up okay a buy signal here let's see the short-term trend buy as well long-term trend buy as well you could have bought around here and you would have a beautiful up movement reaching almost a hundred sorry reaching 70 pips okay and the other side again great opportunity as well a sell signal second setup indication short-term trend in the same direction long-term trend in the same direction then price went down went up and eventually whew, just collapsed for a hundred no, sorry for another 80 pips I, I have this hundred pips in my head <laughs> sorry for that so uh we, we we have been seeing great opportunities great 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 opportunities here aog chief let's see a huge up movement and look how precise the system is to prevent you and showing you the support and resistance okay of course this red rectangle which by the way it's the only indicator that repaints itself okay uh, of course it was around this area and then go up as price goes up okay and the trend line serves as a support and resistance it's 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 amazing how it can read the market and by the way i'll show you my settings a lot of you know 
a lot of people ask me about that. Look at that. Okay. Look at this. Okay. So it's it's 15. It's 15. That's it. So uh, we can browse around and we're going to find beautiful trends, especially the trends that are related to AUD and NZD. Look at this Euro AUD. Look how the market were absolutely in a downtrend and the trend line work works at right now as a support and resistance. So what we have been seeing right now, the price have reached that bottom of this support, have tested the trend line, and right now it's trying to gain strength to go up. So Rafa, can I jump in? Of course not. Of course you're not gonna do that, okay? What you're gonna have to do, wait. Just wait, okay? It can be only a pullback or it can be a reversal i don't think it's going to be a reversal but as i said uh, earlier in this video it can be a good opportunity on the short time frames okay we have to wait for the signal we have to wait to this to still green and we have to go to the one hour time frame to analyze correctly if price will reach and go above the trend line. Why Rafa, why is that? Well, this is a great technique that Simplicity taught us. Look, it's just simply because when price action is going down, it is testing this resistance area, okay? Look, and when it goes up and penetrate the trend line and sustain it itself above the trend line and the trend line becomes green, it shows us that that trend is no longer on a downtrend. Maybe it can be just a pullback over here. And that's what we have to be very, very careful about, okay? We just analyze the one hour, but we place the trade on the 30 minutes. That's what we have to do. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your company. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button and spread this word out. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to be a great moment for the Forex trading in 2000. 22 and maybe it's an opportunity that we don't have since the great crash of 2008 so let's be very careful let's trade only the money that we can afford to lose and if you're not part of the simplicity trading system family you're just wasting your time and money okay yes i do have a signal group as well if you'd like to join please then in the description area we have the link to the telegram group Okay, and if you'd like a mentorship, you have one for free if you join our Simplicity Trading System family through this link. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I really, really hope you good trades this week. Bye bye.